want to say two things. Um, <clears throat> no, actually three things. I just thought um, I'm going to play for a long while. I usually say I'm going to play for a while, but I'm actually going to be playing for a long while on the didgeridoo. Uh, the second thing is that uh, on Tuesday of this week, um, I got a phone call from my daughter who told me that um, my uh, longtime friend and street buddy and uh, just, a, just a wonderful friend that I had for almost all, all my life. We were friends for... I was figuring out the other day, uh, 67 years. And uh, his name was Jack Jackson. His actual name was Andrew Jackson, but when he found out who Andrew Jackson was, <laughs> he decided never to use Andrew again. So, uh, we don't want to miss this. Okay. Uh, I'll fix it when you're done. Okay, thank you. <laughs> um, so I uh, spoke to his wife. Uh, actually, I called her and, and I couldn't get through, but then she called me back. She must have seen my number on, on you know, uh, on the, the board or wherever it is. And um, and we, we spoke a little while and um, she has uh, cremated him um, at his orders, and then she's going to have a celebration in about um, a week and a half. So I was saying to her, you know, I'm not going to send you any flowers. I'm not going to do that because Jack and I have been, it's, it's just our relationship has been too tight over the years and it's been too long. I'm not going to do that. That's just, that's just not enough for me. And then I thought uh, I was doing this performance this evening. And I thought that this would be a wonderful opportunity to, when she has the celebration, to uh, play this uh, performance for his travel now and for the people who are going to come for the celebration. So um, I'm looking forward to that. I, no words could ever really, and I, I've been thinking about what I should say about him, and I go into bed and I'm and getting up in the morning and I'm still thinking about it. But no, no words could ever replace or even come close to the kind of friendship we had. I mean, we had friendship on all levels. We uh, went to Washington during 1963 to the March on Washington for Martin Luther King, and um, just we, we just did so many things together. The biggest thing we did together was we were both uh, fanatical Pittsburgh Steeler fans. So every 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 fall. Uh, when the Steelers were playing, we would call each other and, uh, and, and lament whether we lost or won. And um, I'm really going to miss that, but I'm really going to miss him. He was a very unique, very unique person. And um, I, I, I loved him dearly. So that's about, that's about it. So I hope I play well tonight and I uh, hope I really send something beautiful to him. This instrument uh, was made by, uh, and I always forget this fellow's name, Kai, who... Mayberger. Okay. What is his last name? Mayberger. Mayberger was right, yes. And it, it's, it, it was an interesting situation because when I came back up here to live, um, people kept saying that there's this didgeridoo maker outside of Woodstock. And I, I thought, you know, I uh, said, so, uh, well, you know, I'll go down and see what's going on. I'll investigate. And so I called him up and, and I told him I wanted to come around and see his instruments. And so I drove over there and, and um, I was just, just startled by the beautiful instruments that he had and he made. And so at, at that moment, I didn't have any money with me. 
And so I told him that the, uh, the, the fundamental that I wanted for uh, my next, because I already had a pretty, pretty nice didgeridoo, which is now uh, the one I use when I, I, had, I don't have this one available. And um, so I went back to his shop and, and um, uh, we, uh, we, we had a, uh, this is how much I want for it. Oh, wait a second now, uh, suppose I do this. And he said, well, yeah, well, if you do that, I can make it a little cheaper. I said, well, like, uh, what else could I do? And so, so, so we had that kind of thing going on. It was, it was, uh, we bartered. We bartered for this instrument. And so, uh, but it wasn't a barter, because a barter is, a, uh, is a, something that goes back and forth. Well, something did go back and forth. I gave him some money, he gave me the instrument. <laughs>
Thank you very much. Thank you.